Well, hi everybody, it's Gersh Kuzman, award-winning editor of the Brooklyn Paper, and of course, we're here at an historic event. That's right, the Brooklyn Paper and our sister print publication, the Williamsburg Courier, are gonna be enshrined in a time capsule right behind me. This is making us a part of history, as we've always said. Let's go inside and watch how this event goes down. Well, this is just such a historic event that you see behind me, the kids from PS31 are here. They're gonna put some things in the time capsule as well. Very exciting day. So I wanna show you how this is gonna work. This is actually the original time capsule that they opened a few years ago. It had a couple of copies of the New York Times and other, other papers of ill repute. And then this is the time capsule where the Brooklyn paper and the Williamsburg Courier, among other items, will be put and enshrined and entombed for 50 years. It's very exciting for us and obviously for history. I had a chance to talk to Jim Pinn, who's the director of the building where the time capsule will be entombed. Why, why is it important to have, say, a newspaper in there, for it's example? It's important because, hey, first of all, the community is an active part of this society around Greenpoint, and we have played a major role. And if there's a great positive comment, even a negative comment in the newspaper, it's good to get a 50-year-ago feeling of how people were interacting. Right. So I think current events are so important to be putting in for a snapshot of what was going on. And of course, there's fine coupons in my newspaper. Right, absolutely coupons. You go to A&P, get two for one on Wednesday, right? You know what, it probably behooves us to take a look at what's in each of our issues today. Let's have a look. Well, we got the bed bug story. Who knows if they're going to be around in 60 years, or maybe they'll be worse. Marty Markowitz, Borough President, he was esteemed in his day. Slow him down, a story about people worried about traffic. Uh, a couple of stories about technology and people who eat dog food. And in our Williamsburg sister publication, where we got a huge pot bust a couple of blocks from here, who knows, maybe in 50 years marijuana will be legal. So this story might be irrelevant, but people will be interested in it. Anyway, let's go see how the event goes. Well, this is it, everybody. They're going to start putting stuff into the time capsule. And of course, we're talking about the Brooklyn paper and the Williamsburg Courier. Let's see how it goes down. paper. I don't go a day without it, and uh, hopefully the headline will be just as compelling then as it is now. <laughs> well, there it is, folks, the end of the historic act. I mean, I feel so proud and so part of history right now. Well, here it comes, everybody. It's under heavy guard, and it's going to be going into the niche. Well, you heard it, folks. We are part of history. Yeah, sure, it's a sewage treatment plant, but what do I care? The Brooklyn Paper and its sister publication, the Williamsburg Courier, are now in a time capsule to be preserved for all the ages. They didn't ask Gothamist. They didn't ask Gawker. They didn't ask any of those websites, Yahoo, Google, whatever. That's right, the Brooklyn paper is part of history. Sure, it's a sewage treatment plant, but I don't care. It's the best damn sewage treatment plant in the whole country. I send my sewage here, and I do it proudly. And we are part of history. And I'm Gersh Cousin at the sewage treatment plant for the Brooklyn paper.